like put my finger down into the little hole thing to sort of push down the thing. And just in the, and I was tape recording this, so we're tape recording it, and on the thing, and with, which I, I transcribed, there's just big, ow! Um, <laughs> and, and then he, like, Matt Welch just, just sliced open his finger <laughs> on the beer. And we've been, uh, we've been friendly ever since, but uh, my- I did not know that was an alcohol-related injury. Uh, it, 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 absolutely. That's amazing. <laughs> um, one of a few, maybe, but uh, he's, for my uh, money, not just, he's known widely as America's funniest newspaper columnist. Granted, it's kind of tallest dwarf, but uh, situation, but a sincerely funny person. But for my money, uh, uh, all, uh, literally one of the best political columnists. At, at these aforementioned uh, 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 national conventions, he would, there was the, would, the National Journal, I think it was, had a daily journal that would print, like a, a daily newspaper that was all just for journalists uh, at the convention with the schedules and things like that. And he would write a daily column at each of these every uh, four years, uh, the, twice, each, twice uh, you know, each party. And like some of the most acerbic political humor you'll ever hear. And because he's funny, he can get away with it, but it's like daggers in people's ribs. Great, that's enough of me talking. Dave Barry, get the hell out of here, please. <laughs> Senescence now in terms of Miami Herald. You still write yeah. best-selling books every ten days. But old like, senescence in the sense of old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I write. I still write a year review every right. year, which, which takes me all year to write. Basically, it's the best column every year. 